Okay, Jerry here at KO Media, here at Roman Salazar. Yes, sir. The guy who's over here to spoil the party. That's it, man. That's what uh, I'm not. I mean, obviously, they, I've heard a lot of people tell me I saved the show. A lot of people saying I'm here to steal the show. I'm just honored to be here, man. It really is. What an opportunity. How do you say no to an opportunity like yeah, this? Absolutely. You're a decorated MMA fighter. Sure. You didn't come out of like the back of the gym, putting your hand up. So presumably you're not over here just to, just to have points against us. You're here to win. Absolutely, man. Yeah, we definitely didn't make this long flight to lose, that's for sure. We came here ready to win and uh, put a game plan together real quick in a week. And I think stylistically, I match up really well against James, so I'm really excited for Friday night. Yeah. I mean, the last few, I mean, James's last few opponents, or some of them anyway, like were, were finished pretty quickly. Um, they all came with high hopes, high expectations. You know, they talk, look, we're, we're going we're to give him a huge problem, we're going to beat him, you know, he doesn't have much anyway. And every time, well, last few times, you know, that hasn't worked out for them. So why, why is it going to be different for you, particularly? Well, first of all, I never make the mistake of underestimating my opponent. Yeah. I know how good James is. I know he's really good on the back. His jiu-jitsu is great. He's a good striker. I just think that, I mean, I fought all over the world. I fought in the UFC. I've been around the block. So, I mean, I, I'm going to show him a lot that maybe he hasn't seen yet. I'm never going to overlook him, though. I know how good he is, and he's headlining this event for a reason. And now I just get to be there with them and, you know, try to spoil the show. Yeah, and, and that's a good point because you've traveled a lot. So you've gone into hostile territory, I take it. Absolutely, man. I mean, I fought places back home in Arizona where everybody loves me, and I fought places up in Canada where everybody hates me. So it just kind of <laughs> depends, man. It's one of those things. At the end of the day, this is martial arts. It's a sport. We all respect each other for getting in that cage, and I'm never one for bantering much, but I definitely respect my opponents all the time, and we're just going to fight at the end yeah, of the day yeah. anyway. <laughs> and, and a week's notice, how does that work? Were you in training for a fight later on? I mean, like, how, how can you get in shape in a week? Well... Luckily, I just fought in July, and then I had a couple teammates. Actually, one of my teammates is fighting on the Bellator card on Saturday. Henry Corrales is getting ready to fight um, yeah. Darian Caldwell. Obviously, one of my teammates, so I was giving him sparring rounds, as well as one of my teammates, Hunter Azur, just made his UFC debut after uh, winning on the contender, and he just beat Kai as well. So I've been in shape. I've been giving a lot of rounds, so it was just perfect timing. So basically, you were in other, other guys' camps. You were not too long out of your old camp. And uh, like your last fight, like how, how did that go? Was it a decision? Yeah. Was it a yeah. Last but yeah, actually last fight I lost a split decision, very questionable decision, one of those against a very tough, gritty veteran, the ex ACB 135 champion Mario Israel. So dude's been yeah. around the block and I mean that was a good fight, man. It was definitely I learned a lot in that fight and just like anything well, else. You look in really good shape. You didn't take damage, I take it. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, luckily my face didn't take too much. That was good. I, I do a good job of keeping my hands up, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so basically so, so you're you're good to go, there's no issues, no injuries. Oh absolutely, I feel one hundred percent. So, th so that tells me that, that you're, you're, you're like tough, you've got stamina, gas tank for, for miles. That's what I've been known for my whole career, man. If it's one thing, it's that gas tank that doesn't quit, so I'm excited for that. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, big crowds obviously you're used to in the UFC, but, uh, and, and even big hostile crowds in Canada, you were saying, so this won't bother you. Are you going to feed off it? I mean, one of those things, not even that. I mean, it's all energy, whether it's positive or negative, we convert it into some sort of energy, right? So obviously, I think that the Irish crowd gets behind their fighters I think it's amazing I think the American crowd could learn from the Irish crowd and follow their fighters a little bit I think it's a beautiful thing to see I love watching you know European MMA and I, it's the same the way they get behind their fighters is unbelievable to me so I mean it's, it's definitely I can't wait to be in that energy you know and, and happily unlike uh, you know your other promotion if, if things don't go our way we, we don't throw away a good drink we hold on to us so you're safe that way <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> but uh, but, but joking aside, is this your first time over in Ireland, by the way? First time in Europe, yeah, absolutely. Oh my God, yeah. So, yes. Enjoy it, man. It's, it's not always this nice. It rains as well most of the time. Uh, that's what I've been hearing. Every cab I got into told me how nice the weather was last week. But I'm from Arizona, man. I'm used to that thunderous heat out there. So mm -hmm. this has been a nice break for me, even to see a little bit yeah. of the show. So you looking relaxed and good form? Would that be, you know, is that a fair comment? I mean, you looking forward to this? Everything good? Absolutely, man. I can't wait. I'm excited to be here. I mean, it's, like I said, nothing I haven't seen before. So here we are. And just, it's another fight, man. It really, really is. I mean, we could make it. 
the magnitude that it is, it's a main event on Bellator, here we are, but at the end of the day, it's me and him performing and fighting against each other. Yeah, James, actually, and last question, sorry, but now I don't see a big cue. <laughs> last question is, is um, like, James, every, nearly every fight, James has some back and forth with his, with his opponent. Um, is that something that you're going to respond to or just ignore if it happens? With the way in, if you're pushed, for example, or... I'll be honest, man. I've never been one for that. Like I've been saying this whole time, we're going to fight the next day anyway. I mean, I know it's all about building up and getting the crowd behind it, but at the end of the day, I'm a martial artist, and martial arts is about respect to me. So I respect James as a competitor and an opponent. I mean, if he does that and that's how he gets himself hyped up, that's on him. I definitely don't need to do that. So you're going to sure. stay Mr. Cool. That's it, man. So, Mr. Roman, thank you very much for talking to us. You're so and welcome. it's the best of luck on Friday night. Thank, thank you very so much. Thank you so much, sir. absolutely.